So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a press E to in interact um, object. So pretty much all it does is it uses a raycast and whenever you hover over an object it displays the press E to interact. If you press E it's going to say that it picked it up. Um, so you can link this to all kinds of systems that you have in your project. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started on that. So the first thing that you want to do is I have this project template set up um, you can go ahead and download it from the description um, but all it is is just a character body 3d that I set up with a basic movement script and it has the raycast in there um, and then it just has a level and some lights so let's go ahead and look at that script for the character body so the first thing that you'll notice is there's just a bunch of movement in here um, the first few things is that we have a camera and the raycast defined if we go over here to the, the player, you can see that I have my camera set up and an interaction ray is what I called it, but it's just a raycast. It's positioned in the center of the camera. And so what we're gonna have to do is in here, we're gonna have to create a script that's gonna check if it'll hover over the object and display the label that we create. And then a few other things, but the main thing here is that this is gonna be our interact or activate so let's go ahead and go over to project settings we'll go to input map and we need to create a new activate so this one has left mouse button but we're also going to need it to be press E to interact so we'll go ahead and add that if you don't have this in your project it's pretty easy to add right here where it says add new actions you just type in activate mine's gonna be grayed out because I already have it right here um, but you can go ahead and add that and then we'll click on the plus right here to add an event and then I'll press E on the keyboard and that's going to be our code to go ahead and activate that so we can close this I'm just going to leave this exactly how it is in the script but it's just calling a function to activate um, it's defining hit as the raycast collider and then it's just going to detect if the raycast is colliding and if the object that's colliding with has the interact function inside of it. So the first thing that we can go ahead and do is we'll go over here to our main scene. I'm just gonna create a basic object for us to use. So if we right click, add child node, I'm just gonna do a mesh instance 3D and I'll put it in a static body 3D. We'll create a We'll create a new box mesh and then under mesh right here we can create a collision shape and this is just going to be sibling and tri mesh we'll leave that all as the default and then here's our static body right here this is going to be our object that we'll interact with right click on that and we need to add a label 3d this is going to be what's going to display everything so if we go to flags make sure we hit billboard to enable that's going to make it to where the text is always going to be facing the camera under text I'm just going to have it say press E to interact we can drag that to the top we'll go ahead and make it invisible for now by clicking on the I icon then we'll go over here and we'll go ahead and we can add a new script I'll just leave it as the default for now now the first thing we want to do is type in at on ready and define a variable this is going to be defining that label 3d so I'm going to call this one prompt label label 3d equals and you do the dollar sign label 3d that's just defining where this is in the tree since it's a child of the static body 3d we're just grabbing that and having it defined in our script then we'll create the interact function remember before I was saying that we're in our character body 3d we're checking if it has the interact function and that's what we're defining right here to interact so I'm just going to say print and have it say that we picked up the item, picked up item. 
Now, if we go over here, I'm just going to have it remove it from the game. So Q free. That's going to delete it. And then the next thing is we need to have a function to show the prompt. And then a function to hide the prompt. Now that we have that set up, I'm just going to have prompt label dot visible equals true. And down here, you can just copy this whole thing and set it to false. So all we're doing here is we have our interact function. This is where you're going to put the function that you need in your project. This is just what I'm showing for the tutorial. And then right here, we'll have show prompt, making it visible or invisible. Now that's pretty much all we have for this script. If we go back over here to the character, this is where we're going to have to set up all of our uh, checking if it's hovering and things like that to make sure that we show it properly. We need to come up here and we need to create a variable. So variable current interactable equals null. So this is going to be defined later, but we just need to set that up here for now. Now we can come back down here and we can have a function defined as check hover collision. We'll do if raycast dot is colliding. We'll define another variable called hover collider equals recast dot get collider. And then we'll do if hover collider and is instance valid hover collider and hover collider dot has method and this is going to be checking again that function has interact. And then we also want to make sure in case there's other objects that have interact in our game, we want to make sure that this one is one that will show a prompt. So we'll do and hover collider dot has method show prompt. And then after that, we'll go ahead and put a colon. And that should be good for now. We'll go over here. We'll do if current interactable is not equal to hover collider. If current interactable, current interactable dot hide prompt. And then we'll do current interactable equals hover collider and current interactable dot show prompt. Then went over here, we'll go a few back, we'll do else hide current prompt else hide current prompt. Now just below here we need to make a function for that hide current prompt. So we'll do function hide current prompt if current interactable current interactable dot hide prompt current interactable equals null. So we just need to come up here to the physics process and then call that function, check hover collision. And then I know on my, my default setup, I have the interaction ray, but it's on the collision mask too. That's usually what I have my items on. So we just need to make sure it's on the same collision mask. So make sure it's on one for this tutorial. So then if we go over here to our main scene, we can run it. 
and then we can hover over it. It says press E to interact and it's going to show it and then make it invisible. Now, if we interact with it, it'll say picked up item. And that's how you make the press E to interact object.